So now we're going to go over the biceps and the brachialis. So Mickey, you okay with me working on the arm here? Oh, yes. All right. So let me start up into here and just take this down here. Grab the arm, pull it down. So in terms of the biceps, the short head, the origin is the coracoid process of the scapula. Long head is the supraglenoid tubercle. You okay? Mm-hmm. So let's just take it up here a bit then, down. Right up into there. Feeling that a bit more? Yep. Okay, back up again. Now it inserts into the, uh, right down, the radial tuberosity. So we're talking about all the way down in the radius. <laughs> Take it down, good. Now grab that, pull it in. Okay, good. So let's just bury this a little bit here. Taking it down. Okay. Oh, goodness. Let's put a little bit of circumduction in there. So I'm just gonna back off on the pressure, but I'm gonna use a little bit of that motion there. Doing okay? Yep. Yeah. Now, obviously, the biceps flexes the elbow, supinates the forearm. Good. So, pronation, supination. <laughs> Down. It's innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve. And we start getting more down towards the outside of here. Taking this down, straightening it out. Then we're talking more about the brachialis. This muscle is often overlooked my, and uh, for the upper arm, but it does play a critical role in elbow flexion. You okay? Mm -hmm. The origin of this muscle is the anterior surface of the humerus, particularly the lower half. So if I'm working on the biceps and I'm also the brachialis, we've got good strong fascial connections between the two. So you could be working on both at the same time here. It also inserts onto the coronary process and tuberosity of the ulna. So we're talking radius, ulna. So we're talking multiple connections where we actually have very strong fascial connections there. And it's action, it flexes the elbow joint, and it's also innervated by the musculocutaneous nerves. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's bring this down here. Okay. I'm gonna start doing a little bit of circumduction and motion at the same time. Okay. It's funny, this is almost like doing pushing hands in Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what's the difference between this mm -hmm. and this? Oh, what different? <laughs> in, in what way? In what way? It's feeling doing? way deeper. Yeah, it feels way deeper. Okay, yeah. so I'm putting this much pressure on this. Yeah. I'm backing off my pressure. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. it actually feels like it's going deeper. Yeah. And you can actually feel the different layers of tissue. You can delineate one restriction or one layer of tissue from another and you can feel where the restriction is and by getting circumduction into that motion you actually can release that structure so a lot of the linear procedures do work but i find they're not nearly as effective you okay there? Mm -hmm. okay so this is really really powerful work when dealing with any kind of problem with the biceps or actually getting into the brachialis check it out for yourself